Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to make a scrolling display using shift register IC 74595. So let's get started. For this I'll use red LED and we need 384 LED because we have 8 rows and 48 columns. This pin is anode and this one cathode. Before putting this LED, I'll make it shorter. This is negative one and this is positive one. I'll do this with all of them. You have to check this LED at 2.2 volt. In case of green or blue LED, you have to check it at 3 volt. For this project, I will take black acrylic sheet and on this sheet, I have created some holes. The distance between two center is 8 millimeter. I have created 48 columns and 8 rows. So we need 48 multiplied by 8 LEDs, that is 384 LEDs. Now we have to put the LEDs this side is positive and this side is negative. As you can see here, like this we have put it the first row. This side is negative and this side is positive. Now we have to connect all the negative pins with this. Okay? This is how I have soldered the first row. All the negative pins are connected. In the same way, we have to solder all these 8 rows. This is second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, seventh row and this is last row. So this is how we have connected all the negative pins. Now we have to solder the columns, it means all the positives. This is the first column, so we have to connect all the positive pins of LED. With this, I will solder all these positive pins. So this is how I have soldered the first row. And like this, we have soldered all the columns, the positive pins. After this connection, we have to make some connectors. Power IC can control 8 columns. So we need this side 6 IC and in this side 1 IC. So total we need 7 IC. So we need 7 connectors. For anode connection, I have taken this ribbon wires and these are 20 centimeter and for cathodes I'll use a longer one okay this also has 8 wires okay to make the connector I'm using round mail header Now we have to connect this connector to the display. This is front side. This column is column 1 up to column 48. So this side is 1. So we have to connect from this side. This column is 1. I have taken first connector. This is the first connector. 
and like this we have to connect all the six connectors I have connected all the rows and columns now we have to make the circuit to make this circuit I am using this PCBs 8 pieces of 1 kilo ohms resistor 48 pieces of 330 ohms resistor 7 female header 7 piece of 74595 shift register IC 8 pieces of BD139 transistor this pin is base middle pin is collector and this one is emitter Arduino with female header and micro USB female socket for power supply I see one this side is pin number one this is IC2 IC3 with the output pin we have to connect the 330 ohms resistor with pin number with pin number 15 this is output 1 then pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are output 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so per IC we need 8 resistor this is 330 ohms resistor output 3, output 4, output 5, output 6, output 7, this is output 8, output 1 is pin number 15 and like this we have to connect to all those ICs. The IC and resistors are connected. Now we have to put the female header After connecting this resistor, we have to connect pin number 10, 16, 10, 16, 10 and 16 to plus 5 volt. So first, we have to connect all this pin. This one is pin 10, 16, 10, 16, 10, 16 10 and 16. So for this connection, I'll use this kind of copper wire. pin number 10 and 16 are connected now we have to connect pin number 8 and 13 this is pin number 8 9 10 11 12 and this is 13 this one 8 and 13 8 and 13 8 and 13 and this will be connected to the ground I'll connect this pin with this wire positive and negatives are connected now we have to connect all the pin 11 and all the pin 12 it is connected now like this we have to connect all the pin 12 pin 11 11 11 and 12 12 and 12 and like this we have connected both of them One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. Now see here carefully. We have to connect all the pin number 12 together and pin number 11 together. And after that, we have to connect positives and negatives. Pin number 11 and 12 are connected. Pin number 11, 12 and positive negatives are connected. From here, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Its pin number 14 will be connected to the Arduino. Pin number 9 of this IC will be connected to the pin number 14 of second IC. Then its 9 will be connected to pin number 14 of third IC. Then again, 9 will be connected to pin number 14 of this IC. Then its 9 will be connected to pin number 14. And then its 9 will be connected to its pin number 14. So this is how we have to cascade the IC. I already uploaded a video on how to cascade the IC74595. If you want to know more about this, 
please follow the link in the description below. Now we have to make the cathode connection board. Arduino, the IC, this is pin number 1, connecting 1 kilo ohms to the output, output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now putting the transistor, this is base, collector and emitter. And after this we need female header. This is for cathode connection. And here you can see I connected positives and negative. Positive is connected to pin 10 and pin 16 and negative is connected to pin number 13 and pin number 8. After this I will connect its pin number 11 to D2, 12 to D3 and pin number 14 to D4. I have connected. Now see here. This is IC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I will connect its pin number 11 to pin 5, pin number 12 to pin 6 and pin number 14 to pin 7 and after that positive and negative to this circuit. Here you can see I have connected all the pins from D2 to D7 here and all the positives and negatives. Now it's time to test the display. This is connector 1, connector 2, connector 3, this is connector 4, connector 5 and connector 6. These are anode connection. Now this is for cathode. So connection is completed. I already uploaded the program. So I'm directly connected this to power supply. For power supply, I'll use this one, the mobile charger. And now I'm connecting this. So this is how you can make a scrolling display using shift register IC 74595. Now it's time to make a box for this. I'm using plywoods and on this I'm putting a black sticker. And here I'm inserting the micro USB socket. Soldering the positive and negative and connecting this with the circuit. Now we can pack the whole things. So our display is ready. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video.
If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.